Hello everyone, today we're going to visit the High Jolly Tomb in Quartzsite, Arizona, right after this short video. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you soon. Hey! High Jolly, born around 1828, was an Ottoman subject of Syrian and Greek parentage. In 1856, he became one of the first camel drivers ever hired by the U.S. Army to lead the camel driver experiment in the Southwest. High Jolly became a living legend until his death in Arizona around 1902. An Ottoman Turkish citizen of Greater Syria, High Jolly worked as a camel breeder and trainer. He served with the French army in Algiers before signing on as a camel driver for the U.S. Army in 1856. High Jolly was hired by the United States Army to introduce camels as beasts of burden to transport cargo across the Great American Desert. High Jolly was one of the lead camel drivers during the U.S. Army's experiment with the U.S. Camel Corps in using camels in the dry deserts of the Southwest. After successfully traveling round trip from Texas to California, the experiment failed partly due to the problem that the Army's burros, horses, and mules feared the large animals, often panicking, and the tensions of the American Civil War led to Congress not approving more funds for the Corps. In 1864, the camels were finally auctioned off in California and Texas. High Jolly was discharged from the Quartermaster Department of the Army in 1870. He next ran a freight service between the Colorado River and the mining establishments further east, using, using the few camels he had purchased. His business was unsuccessful, however, and he released his camels into the desert near Gila Bend, Arizona. In his final years, High Jolly moved to Quartzsite, Arizona, where he mined and occasionally scouted for the U.S. government. He died in 1902 and was buried in the Quartzsite Cemetery. In 1935, the Arizona governor dedicated a monument to High Jolly and the Camel Corps in the Quartzsite Cemetery. The monument is located at his gravesite and is the most visited place in Quartzsite. Here we are headed towards Quartzsite, eastbound on Interstate 10. Sure is a beautiful day today, isn't it? And there's a camel crossing in this area too. We are currently in Southwest Arizona. In Quartzsite now, turning onto the road that leads to High Jolly Tomb. Quartzsite is a very interesting town, that's for sure. We are heading straight towards the Quartzsite Cemetery. Check it out, we have arrived. This tells the history of Hai Jolly and how his real name was actually Haji Ali. It was just easier for people to say Hai Jolly back then. It also goes on to talk about the Camel Corps. He's probably one of the most famous people in the history of this area for sure. And here is the tomb of Hai Jolly. As you can see the camel up top there. I believe this was erected in 1935 by the governor of Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe this is a uh, registered national landmark. 1828 to 1902. Faithful aid to the U.S. government. There we go, National Register of Historic Places. Baby William Scott died in 1899 and Baby Rosie Scott died in 1916. And it looks like Benedict Scott lived a full life, dying in 1993. And more of the Scott family over here. Here's the backside of High Jolly Tomb. He was a camel trainer and driver. Pauline Rogers Brown, 1919 through 1948. And she was pretty young. 
Wow, there's quite a few gravesides here. Some American flags over here. And we got Joseph C. Lawrence, U.S. Navy, World War II. Tilly Lawrence, She Loved to Dance. And Cyrus Oloy Rowe, U.S. Navy, World War II. John B. Nash, 1869 through 1943. Good old E.B. Ring, 1957. Joe C. Redmond, August 16th, 1889 through March 22nd, 1938. Baby Pritchard, that's really sad. This one is really decorated. Andrew Rosslyn and Kelly Combs. I have a hard time reading this one, but it looks like an old style headstone. Robert Bennett, this 31 year old man died while fleeing from the police on the interstate, involved in a head on collision. Tragic, really tragic. Glenn Churchill and Audrey Churchill. Michael Anthony Russo died at just 36 years old of an untimely disease. High Jolly Cemetery is operated by the town of Quartzsite.